Hi everyone, this is Shannon and Cynthia. Hey y'all! And we're going to do our first scent tester review for Candles by Victoria. Alright, um, Victoria sent us this 8 ounce jelly, well, ounce jelly jar. It is, um, white. And on the label, it has no scent name. Because it's a surprise. Well, of course. And we've got to see if we can figure it out. Yep. Alright, um, Mother, take okay. us away. Um, we, um, our initial thought when we opened the candle, when we got it, was that we smelled grapefruit. And it wasn't a very strong smell, but we definitely could smell the tartness of the grapefruit. Also, we did smell a little bit of spice in there. Like, maybe clove. But it's not very strong, no. so it was kind of questionable to me whether it was really there or not. But yeah. Cynthia was like, Mom, there is some sort of spice in there. <laughs> I smelled spice. So, okay. So, um, the cold throw of the candle on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being very light and 10 being light. super, super, super strong, was a 4. Because you could sort of smell it when you opened it and held it away from you, but it wasn't right going to... Yeah, it wasn't going to scent up the whole room if you just left it open. Yeah, because we try. <laughs> Which some do. So, um, the size of the room we burnt it in was, we actually, we burnt it first in the bedroom, which is 9 by 11, and the ceilings are slanted. The highest point is 9 feet, and the lowest is 7 feet. And then we also did it in another room um, after that because we just didn't really get a much of a smell from it. So we burnt it in the bathroom, which is, um, the ceilings were the same, but um, it was 9 by 5 feet. Yeah. <clears throat> and um, we allowed it to burn for 4 hours both times. And it achieved, it finally achieved the melt pool um, in that 4 hours by the end of it. So, and say. So, just barely got to it. Yeah. Um, and we don't have vaulted ceilings. No. Thank you for getting to end. Yeah. Um, and during the initial burning process, we smelt it um, in the bedroom about 40 minutes after we lit it. But it was very light. It was just a, mm -hmm. just a hint. Yeah. And um, then in the bathroom, it was about 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And that one kind of stuck around. <laughs> All right. And... Mother? Oh. Um, as the melt pool became larger, uh, the throw did get a little bit stronger in the bathroom. Not so much in the bedroom. It was still very, very light. You could, We could barely, barely smell it. Um, the bathroom did get a touch stronger. Uh, we're looking off our notes. So i got to flip the page here. Alright. Um, <coughs> we categorized it as a fruity because the top note was just so strong of the grapefruit. Now, the, the top note and the cold throw was the whole grapefruit and spice steel. Now, the mill note, which is, um, like, when while you're burning it, we detected, like, a creamy nuttiness, <laughs> I yeah. guess is the word. Yeah, sort of like maybe pecans or walnuts. Or um, something. Really, really light, but it, there was some sort of nutty um, scent there. Yeah. Um, and the base note, which is after you, um, extinguish the fire on the wick. It's called the flame. <laughs> well, the flame, well, whatever. Um, the flame on the wick, um, uh, we smell like a vanilla. It was pretty like a, like a really, really light vanilla, though. Yeah. And, um, on a scale of 1 to 10, on how strong the scent throw was, in the bedroom was probably about a 2, because... It wasn't very... Yeah, we didn't really get much of a scent throw on it. And in the bathroom, it was probably about a 4. Um, we could smell it a little more in the bathroom, but still, we were, we were having trouble smelling the different notes in it, because it was very, very light. Yeah. Um, would we purchase this scent? Probably not. Um, it was too light for my liking. Um, I like the scent of it. It has a really good, nice smell, but it's just not strong enough. Although, if you, like, um, strong scents give you a headache or it's really, really, you like light scents more than you do stronger scents, mm -hmm. you may want to get this candle. Yeah, if you're very sensitive to smells 
And the spice in it, if there is any spice, it's not very much, so it's not overpowering at all. So, um, but I guess that would be it. And, um, I guess we'll see y'all next time we do a scent review or, um, another scent test or something. So, well, bye y'all later.